Hey guys, just want to do a little update. Got some of my cabinets up, got the TV up. Now that's a 50 inch, but it doesn't look that big compared to how big this area is. So um, um, I'm gonna have like probably about 35 feet of cabinets. So that's why that 50 inch looks so small. But this video is about uh, the heat and how cool it is in here and humidity. So right now we're about, uh, according to the paper, um, Let's see, today 92 degrees, 76 percent humidity, tomorrow's 94 with 67, um, well 76 overnight, but the humidity is pretty high today. Um, I think we're running at like, I don't know, probably like um, 60 some percent outside. Let's see what my dehumidifier says. Now this dehumidifier, I've just been using it lately for a little bit. Um, just to uh, to see, get the stickiness out of here. Um, it hasn't been raining. I mean, it doesn't rain in here with 70 some percent humidity. Um, so the floor hasn't even been sweating yet. Um, but right now uh, I'm at 58 because I ran it for a little bit. That temperature's off. It's actually, um, turn that off. It's actually uh, 70 degrees in here. Let's see, it's actually 70 degrees in here. This is thermal mass, no AC, no nothing. Um, I took my car out, so I had to open up the garage door and then I put a hot black car in here. And so it was about 65 in here earlier today and the outside temperature in the shade is, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that, 87.6. So um, it's uh, doing pretty good. So I'm at, without AC, I'm at a 17 degree difference. So 87 to 70 degrees and the humidity of 58% here, which is pretty, uh, it's a little bit cool, but not too bad. I'll run this overnight some more and uh, to take it out, but um, I have had no issues with sweating. My windows would be all sweated up if there'd be condensation on there, if there was problems. So um, I'm, I'll do an update tomorrow and then a temperature of what that is. And we'll see if it goes down overnight and then if it goes back up. Because then um, with this thermal mass, you may not need really AC because... Um, it's keeping it cool. Um, let, let's see what the slab is, or temperature of the slab. This is my G floor that I put down just for my hoist because I haven't done uh, the um, epoxy yet. But let's see what this temperature shows. So the slab temperature is 67.8. Let's see what we'll go this one. Getting a little bit hotter around here because the car. But uh, yeah, so about 68 degrees for slab temp. So hopefully that will act like a, its own AC heat sink. So keep it around 70 degrees. That's what I'm hoping. So we'll see about tomorrow when it's going to be 90 some and then uh, give an update so you guys can see if um, the thermal mass actually helps in cooling and also helps in retain the heat in the winter. So it's next day and uh, the newspaper and news people had no clue about the weather because it's only 71. It uh, rained, so maybe that's why it will happen. But uh, let me see, open this up. These touch pads are great. Um, but uh, in here it is, uh, let's see. It's 67 um, with uh, some, let's see what the humidity is. Um, well, I'm down with. 49% so that's probably pretty good um, yeah so 
weather said it was uh, going to be, um, let's see, Sunday, 94 degrees, which it's not with us. It feels like 100 plus. Uh, I think they're wrong. But still, yeah, um, it's humid though, um, but no sweating, no, uh, no wetness on the concrete floor, staying at 67. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll give you an update tomorrow to see if it actually hits uh, 82. Hey guys, so next day it's 74.5. Um, it was supposed to be 82, but uh, it's raining. The storm came in, so that's why it's cooler. Um, but then we can go in here and let's check this out really quick. Uh, temperature in here is 66.2. So uh, let's see the humidity. It's kind of a little bit, you know, with the storm, rain, it's going to be a little bit more humid. But we're looking at 58% humidity. Um, it's not raining in here. The windows haven't been raining. Um, I just have this on just to keep around 60% humidity, but I didn't have a humidifier and it was fine. Nothing was dripping or else you'd see on the floor. Um, but yeah, with the humidity, it's good to have the humidifier going to get rid of it. But um, with this thermal mass, it seems like it's keeping the temperature uh, above, you know, below 70 degrees all the time. So when it was 90 and 94 that one day, it was still about 70 degrees in here. And that's what open up the garage door, you know, once, twice a day. So if you open up more, I could see it coming up, but the slab is, uh, is gonna kind of absorb that heat. Cause right now, um, the past few days, slabs were at uh, 68 degrees. And right now we're at, uh, the slab's going down in temperature. So, um, so we're about 67 degrees. So that earth without having the insulation underneath this, it's actually absorbing that, the earth coolness, I guess. And so it's helping it keep it cool. I mean, it's 66 degrees in here. This is a perfect temperature. I mean, it's, I have no AC, I got, uh, got my disconnect here for the AC unit on this side and one on the other side, but I don't think I'm gonna have to need it this year. So um, that's something to think about. So it is actually keeping it cool. And uh, like I said, on those higher, hotter days, you know, like 80, 90 degrees days that I didn't videotape, it was still keeping it under 70 degrees in here. So guys, uh, hopefully this helps to show that thermal mass heat storage can work in reverse. And um, it should hopefully work in reverse in the summer and then heat, keep the heat in the winter. So, um, so far so good. So hopefully this uh, gives you an idea and maybe you guys will want to try the heat, thermal mass heat storage and uh, you might be surprised. Thanks for watching.